हेलो एवरीवन गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल बेस्ट विशेष फॉर योर गेट प्रिपरेशन एंड सिंस ओनली ट्वेंटी डेज आर लेफ्ट फॉर योर गेट सो वी विश यू वेरी गुड लक फॉर योर गेट प्रिपरेशन एंड इन लास्ट ट्वेंटी डेज यू नीड टू प्रैक्टिस मोर एंड प्रैक्टिस ऑल्सो नुमेरिकल्स एंड रिवाइज द कॉन्सेप्ट एंड ऑल्सो मेक अ शीट make a sheet containing all the formulas for every chapter that will help you that will help you to memorize everything and to solve problems quickly now coming to today's topic today we will discuss about the career options after gate 2018 metallurgy uh, this is a topic i think you may be aware of the career options but it's a general information maybe some might not be knowing much about this and so uh, i have come up with this i thought this will be important for you the career options can be divided into two parts the first one is the psu and the research organization club together and the second is the higher education option you can go for job psu is and this thing basically job and again study with a stipend stipend is also necessary so get will help you to get a stipend the first is the psu psu is the first one is the iocl iocl has recruited metallurgists since past many years and they are recruiting metallurgy in large amount from 2015 16 17 they have recruited in huge amount and this year also it is expected because the iocl company is a growing company and application has also started so quickly register there second company is the cell cell has recruited metallurgists by their own examinations but this time they are recruiting through gate 2018 and also it is expected that vacancies will be more and the application will start soon so be updated and the next one is the vizag steel vizag steel they have recruited through gate in 2015 and this time they are recruiting so 2018 and you must be knowing that this company has recruited through their own examination in 2018 only and there were vacancy more vacancy so it is again expected that there will be a good vacancy the next is the bml bml had recruited through gate 2017 till now there is no any notification for bml same is the case with the nalco also nalco had recruited through gate 2015 after that uh, no recruitment for metallurgy uh, through gate midhani midhani had also recruited uh, one or two year back through gate i think gate uh, 2016 or 2017 i don't remember so maybe 16 or 17 okay so if you see this three company they may recruit or not recruit depends on their vacancy nalco may be there there must be some chances that uh, this company will open uh, vacancy and next company is gsecl gsecl is virat state electricity corporation limited and it notifies notification in march so it will notify in march 2018 so you can check there what is the number of vacancy and you can apply now coming to the research organization uh, the first research organization is the prestigious one that is the bark and bark is also considered one of the toughest uh, interview to clear in terms of technical so bark will recruit through gate they will basically shortlist through gate 2018 and they will also conduct their own written examination so you can opt both or any one also 
so it depends on your and the next is the DRDO DRDO had recruited through gate 2016 and there was uh, vacancy I think one vacancy was there and till now they have not notified any recruitment uh, through gate 2018 so maybe in coming time it will uh, notify and the metallurgist can go over there so these are the career options in terms of job now coming to research and higher education you can go for mtech mtech in isc and in isc seats are around 20 to 30 itb all seats are uh, high because there are four uh, uh, sub branches in metallurgy like steel technology material science and something process like this so 40 to 50 vacancies are there IIT Madras around 20 to 30, KGP also 20 to 30, Turkey also 20 to 30, Gandhinagar maybe around 20 to 30. It's, it is a new IIT. If you talk in terms of rank in ISC to get, I think you need about rank of 50 in general. 50 to 60 also. It varies. It varies from year to year. It also depends how many candidates have applied. Uh, to IC, maybe good rankers have applied in IC, so the rank may be uh, low also for admission. Next is the IIT Bombay. IIT Bombay uh, to get IIT, into IIT Bombay also you need a good rank, uh, good rank of uh, 200, 200 I think you need in general category or 100. Uh, in IIT Madras, you need about 100 to 200, it can be manageable, around 200 to 300 also, same with IIT Kanpur is also there, and 200 to 300, you can get admission. These are rough ranking prediction, this is, this is not sure that if you get into 200 to 300, you can get, maybe if you score. Uh, less rank also maybe 350 then you can go so this is just a brief idea to tell you okay next is the IIT Gandhinagar IIT Gandhinagar also new IIT so maybe rank of up to 400 you can get there so and this is for the mtech and you can also go for PhD and you must be knowing about direct PhD for those who have completed BTEC so they get they can go for direct PhD from BTEC to MTEC uh, PhD directly but certain conditions are there so you need to check on the in sight of the IIT in which you want to go or ISC so uh, some conditions are there which I would like to say like a percentile should be 80 percent uh, get rank means get should be qualified uh, and some requirements are there like this so you need to check on the website and for mtech also mtech uh, for mtech students they can go for PhD and in PhD you will get stipend right now around 25,000 for two years and after two years for three years you will get 28,000 okay. now the next is the foreign if you want to go for foreign for MS for masters then the first option is the NUS which considers GATE GATE score basically in GATE you need to be uh, having more than 90% 90% uh, score should be more than 90% its uh, uh, competition is also very huge so NUS uh, index students on the basis of GRE but for Indian uh, they can also apply through GATE 
you can check on the website of NUS for more information and some more universities are there uh, but I have not got so much information or the, and these are RWTH Aiken then TUM Technical University of Munich so I would suggest you that you go to these websites and talk to seniors or some other person and try to know about this uh, they 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 consider get a score but on the website also i have not found much information and one of the reason for considering the get a score for the european countries is that many indians many indians have started their studies in europe and uh, for European countries also to shortlist the candidate they ask for get a score because it gives initial uh, requirement for segregation means they consider uh, candidates with good get a score they feel that uh, this candidate has done well in his country and so he is very competitive enough to uh, study in Europe. okay so these were the uh, some options maybe there might be some more options which will come in the coming time so we can hope for uh, uh, good that uh, many more options will come to metallurgy so till now we have some of these options which i have discussed uh, i would like to summarize the psu and research organization these options we are there and for higher education in mtech or phd phd basically uh, we'll be talking about direct phd then for foreign also you can opt so you can see there are good options after gate in metallurgy so this this lecture uh, or this video was basically to introduce about uh, different career options hope uh, uh, you'll find it useful and maybe some options you might be knowing but you can spread this knowledge to other uh, tell others about these options okay so thank you thank you all